Greetings, greetings, my fellow descendants. It's your boy, right? Check April, and I'm back with yet another interesting tutorial. Before I continue, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and do follow us on Facebook. It's Sai Masters. Uh, guys, today I'll be talking about something that is very much interesting. Um, you guys have been asking for this tutorial. I'm gonna be talking about contextuals, okay, guys. So, now how I'm going to teach this one is that I'm not going to be approaching it according to which book or which novel that you did, but I'm gonna be approaching it generally. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because as I usually say, contextuals are comprehensions, but now it's comprehension based on a whole book instead of an extract on an article like in paper one. Do you understand what I'm saying? So guys, I'm going to teach you how to approach each and every uh, contextual question that you'll ever meet in your life. So I'll be generalizing. I will not be focusing or favoring a certain book. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you know how to answer contextuals, no matter what book you're doing, it's fine. But you now understand how to answer these contextuals. As you can see, guys, uh, contextuals, guys, are usually... um. The thing that scares you guys a lot is because it has a lot of technical questions yeah? and sometimes it also has what a, a referral questions but these referral questions have three marks so in most cases you guys get confused or you guys get have doubts or get scared and all those kind of things do you understand what i'm saying so i'm there or i'm here today to remove all that doubt in you okay guys it's very easy it's like the comprehension so you're going to do me a favor when i make sure that whatever novel you are doing or whatever drama you are doing you read it yeah, you read it don't worry about the contextuals because I'm, I'm about to show you now that this is as easy as a comprehension now another thing that i want to advise you guys is that i prefer i highly recommend that you guys do an essay for the drama and then you can do contextuals for the novel why am i saying that because novels guys are very easy they're like books that you can read and they are enjoyable it's easy to answer questions on the novel and then you do an essay for a drama why because dramas they usually have what that English, that deep, deep English that I also don't like. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's very complex and it has a lot of speech. So there's a lot of speech that you have to remember. Who said, who said this to who? Who said this to who? So it's going to confuse you. A lot of actions. There's a lot of things. So a drama or a play is a no-go zone. You have to do an essay for that one if you want to get good marks. And then you have to do what? The contextuals for novels because novels are usually interesting. Look at Life of Pi. Life of Pi is an interesting book, guys. Look at, there's a lot of books that I can talk about. But once you go to the drama, a drama is always boring. Drama is always boring because it has a lot of figurative language and all those. So for that boring part, just do an essay. That's why I recommended that people do an essay for Hamlet and all that because I know. Okay, guys. So today, I'm going to talk about how we're going to generally approach. The first thing is that I, saw, I said we are going to do what? Contextuals for novels. Hence, I'm on the novel section of the paper too. I'm using NSC 2018 paper 2 English home language. I'm sorry if you're doing fall. Um, all right. So guys, as you can see here, we have a lot of books that they give us. We have a lot of options. We have Doran Gray, which is a very easy book as well. You know, we have Life of Pi, which is also a novel. Guys, these books are enjoyable if you understood them or read them. So what I would say is that get summaries of these books. Read these books. I'm talking about these novels, okay? Because you need to read these novels so that you can answer the contextual questions. The extracts that they give you here... These extracts are just there to confuse you guys. They will never ask a question directly from the extract. Maybe they can ask one, but... These questions that they're asking guys are always about the book as a whole. They want to see if you understood the whole book as a whole. These extracts are just there as a point of reference, but they are really useless in my experience, if I can say. So guys, as you can see, I, I'm seeing Doran Gray there, and I'm seeing um, Life of Pi. And then for the essay questions, guys, I told you guys, you always take the drama. So I'm expecting to see all my learners writing an essay for Hamlet, uh, an essay for, for Othello. Is there Othello here? I'm going to look for it yes because it's also a drama right so all these dramas guys we are writing essays for it and then somebody will ask me how to write an essay question guys an essay you go to my tutorial that says hamlet essay question i'm also going to write othello next to that youtube tutorial right basically that method that i used pill method it also applies for the othello, or othello essay question the difference is the books but same method you use pill method that's how you do your intro that's how you do your, con your, your conclusion so i recommend that all of you guys go and watch the how to answer the hamlet essay question because i chose hamlet because it's easier for me to use it as an example to explain but that same example uh, uh, applies also for othello do you understand what i'm saying thank you very much guys so you guys should stop asking me to make a tutorial about othello essay question what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna teach you a contextual in general which means whatever i'm teaching you right now it applies for all the novel contextuals whether you're going to do life of pi contextuals or you're going to do um uh or othello contextual questions it applies even those that are doing the crucible whatever it's the same knowledge right so you go and watch that tutorial guys 
All right. Um, we are going to continue. We are going to continue. Okay, we are going to continue. All right. So, guys, now we're going to talk about something that is very, very, is something that you already know. Remember, I said this is a comprehension. So, now I'm going to show you why I'm saying this is a comprehension and how we can take all this. I want to open up your mind, right? So, just give me a few seconds as I open up this and then I can show you how everything works out, right? So, um, thank you very much for the subscribers, guys. Keep on telling your friends about me. And I'm having an English paper 2 cross night on the 16th. I'm hoping to see you there. 50 rand entrance on Zoom and then let's get it. Right, so guys, I'm going to use the red brush so that most of you can can see what I'm going to try and do. Right, I'm I'm bad at writing. Okay, those who learn from this YouTube channel know that I have a bad handwriting. I'm very bad at writing digitally. So what I recommend is that you have a pen and paper. Right, so buckle up and get your pen and paper because I have a bad handwriting. So in most cases, I only write the first letter of the word or the first letter of the sentence. I say out a lot of things. So when I have to note down and understand what I'm saying. Okay, guys. So now let me tell you something. Ne? This is a contextual. Ne? Contextual means comprehension. But now this is a comprehension that goes deeper in the novel. Ne? Basically, it's contextual means a comprehension that is related to a whole novel. Comprehension means what? Basically, it's a comprehension now. A normal comprehension which talks about maybe an article yana that takes one page. So it's different because a, a comprehension is very, very easy. A normal comprehension is very, very easy because the text is very, very short. But now this one is a novel, which means there's a lot of things that you have to bear in mind or keep in mind while you're reading the whole book. Right? The book can be as big as a Bible. Doesn't matter. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what makes you guys to be confused. But it's still a comprehension. Now, all everything that I taught you about the comprehension still applies there. Now let's talk. We have what we call a referral question there, and we also have what we call a technical question there, right? In a contextual, right? Now the difference now this time is that now in this referral question, guys, ne, they gave out more marks than in English paper one because in English paper one for a referral question they usually give out two marks, right? It's only maybe it's once or twice where they will just give out three marks for a referral question. You understand? Yeah, the referral questions have three marks because like the, this book is big. It's a huge book, and now there's a lot that you can say. Unlike an article where you can just you know quote Nyana something and then you are done. Okay, there's a lot that you can say. So the referral questions here they are very very tricky because they are like technical questions. So it's up to you to understand and have paper one knowledge and try and merge it with this knowledge to see. As long as you read the book. Now look. This thing is very, very easy, guys. It's very, very easy. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Now, let's go to the question paper. I'm going to try and start with Life of Pi uh, contextuals as an example, right? Yes. So, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Okay. Here's an example. Refer to lines 1, 2. Richard Parker kept out of sight, right? Now, listen to me, guys. Ne? I said this there is a referral and, and there is technical questions, right? Now, let me show you our knowledge. I'm just going to show you that our knowledge on paper one is very, 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 very important in this chapter, right? So, now they're saying there's a line that says Richard Parker kept out of sight, right? Now, explain Richard Parker's presence on the lifeboat, right? Explain. Now, the key word is X. Plain, right? X plain. Now listen to me. Ne? This is not a technical question. Why is it not a technical question? Because now this is a referral question, but it's a referral question that has three marks. As I told you, that the confusing thing is that the, the referral questions here have three marks. They just want you to tell them that um Richard Parker was doing this and he was important doing this, doing this on the boat with pie and all those stuff. It's basically knowledge from you reading the book. Can you see that? So it's a referral question. It's not asking you about the structure or why did Jan Martel write this in this way or why did why was this written like this or why was this word used in this book? It's a referral question, which means this one is based on your understanding of the book. If you did not read the book, you are going to fail this one. So this one is on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Then we move forward. Uh, we go to the second question. The second question will say to you, um, refer to lines four to seven. I watched the ship same of tragedy right what do these lines suggest about pi state of mind as the ship sink yeah. so now what do they suggest right it's still a what a referral question guys why because now they want you they want you to just say what you think this thing suggests do you understand what i'm saying it is still a what a referral question 
we're still having a lot of referral questions that have three marks there. Can you see that? So it's based on what? On your understanding of the book. If you read the book, you'll understand what's okay. When, uh, when, 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 when Pi state of mind, this is what is suggested by Pi state of mind. When the Pi, there's a lot of things that you can say because you read the book. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or you read the summary. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes maybe you didn't read this chapter, no? but what would you do when if the ship was sinking? Hmm? How would your state of mind be? You'd be you'd you'd panic. The mind would be panicking, uh, exhausted. There's a lot of things that you can say there, but explaining them at least give out at least two points and explain them. Do you understand? If you can say. Pi's mind, state of mind was, was crippled. It was panicking. You must also explain it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's still a referral question. That's what I'm saying. It is still a referral question, which needs you to just read and then copy and paste. Or just analyze. Which, okay, this person was feeling like this. Then you copy and paste. Right? Now let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Now. 9.3 would say comment on the significance of the hyena in the context of the novel as a whole. Comment on the significance. Significance is synonymous to importance, right? Now, listen, the key word there is comment. Remember, now you'll have to use those notes that I sent out on the group, which say comment means this, uh, implications means this, okay? Now, when they say now you must comment, it means now you will never get this question wrong. Why? Because you are giving out your what? Your personal view. You are commenting however you feel. But now... The only thing that they're going to catch you with is if will you support your answer. So, for example, let me see. They say, comment on the significance of the hyena as, as, as a whole and whatever, whatever. I would say, oh, man, the hyena was was used as a, as a you know, um, as pre... I can say anything. If I can say maybe the hyena was there to distract, the hyena was just there on the boat to serve as a meal and stuff. It's not wrong. Any answer is not wrong as long as I can support it and say because this and this and this happened, right? That's what you should know about commenting. You comment, say anything that you want to say as long as you can support it. And then they're giving you these three marks for free. It is still a referral question. Can you see how easy this thing is as long as you read the book? Now let's move on to 9.4, right? 9.4 will say in the light of the novel as a whole, critical discuss. Ah, critical discuss. We remember this one from? Paper one in English. Can you see that they're repeating the same thing? The only difference is that we are dealing with a book, right? Critical discuss how Pi's knowledge ensures this. Can you see that we have a lot of referral questions in? A lot of referral questions than technical questions because why? They are scared of putting a lot of technical questions because now it's a book. Okay, now let's see. Critical discuss how Pi's knowledge of the animals ensures his survival on the left boat. Guys, what is to critical discuss? discuss remember when you critical discuss we are saying whatever we are saying based on facts if they said critically comment ne? okay let me put this down if they said cc which is critically comment it means now we are going to criticize but based on our opinion so i can say anything there as long as but i'm using what my opinion but now when they say critically discuss right Critically discuss, it just basically means that I am going to criticize this. I'm going to analyze this using what? Facts only. So you can get this question. You can get zero for this question. Why? Because once they say discuss, they are looking for facts. I know people who have that worksheet that I sent out in the group agree with me because discuss means you must give out facts. You understand? We are discussing facts, not opinion. But if you are commenting, we are talking about opinions. So, for example, if I was to answer this, uh, how, how pie is knowledge of animals... Um, Critically discuss that I must talk about facts that happen in the book. So I'll say, um, Pi used to was shown uh, 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 an animal feeding one another animal in the zoo. Um, Pi used to love animal. He grew up around the zoos. So basically, they, what am I doing now? I'm giving out facts because these are facts from the story. I'm not just commenting. And I said, if they said critical comment, I'll just say because Pi loved animals. I mean, you know, because that's an opinion. And now if I'm giving facts based on what the story was saying in the beginning, initially. Right? That's how I'm critically discussing. But if I'm commenting now, guys, I am giving out my opinion. So my opinion can never be wrong as long as I can support that opinion. Think about you and your friends arguing over something. You guys have different opinions, right? But what do you do if you want to win that argument? You support that opinion, right? You support that opinion. Hey, Usman Bamiya, she said it as in somebody's heart in the class, right? And then I'm like, no, man. 
no, she's not hot, right? And then you start supporting your opinion and say, man, you start critically commenting. You're like, you know, she has this and she has this. She has a beautiful face. She has a bright smile. She has this. And then what do I do? I also critically comment and say, no, but her smile is like this. But her smile, that's how you critically comment. But if you're critically discussing, now I must give out facts. Now, do you understand what I'm saying? Wait. Right. So I hope I make sense there. Nah. So you guys, the reason why you guys are uh, panic with these things is because you guys don't want to study the critically discuss, the explain, the analyze, implications. Those words that I gave out in the notes, those words are very important. Once you understand those words, you'll understand what the question is saying. And then another thing is spotting if this is a referral question or a technical question. Then you are killing a contextual. Doesn't matter which book you are doing. Yeah. Now, they say place this extract in context. This question would have killed a lot of people. Yeah. Placing this thing in context, it means now you must match it. Yeah. You must match it with whatever it is saying. I don't know if I can, I don't know how I, I can say it. Yeah. When you're talking about context, we're talking about something that is related to. You understand what I'm saying? So if they say place the extract in context, right? You are basically going to rewrite this, not fully, but you're just going to outline the main ideas of this thing. I don't know. Summary. Okay, let's talk about the summary. What they say, when they say place this extract in context, it means that you're just going to give us maybe two or three points. Right from this, the main point from this. Do you understand what I'm saying? So basically, the, the examiner doesn't want to read this whole extract. Right, he just wants to take out the main points from this, this extract because he's in a rush. So when are you going to? For a person who has never read the book, they want you to put just this extract into context. So that's why we want we want you to put it in context. Right. So it's very very easy because you're just going to summarize. You use your English knowledge on summaries to take out maybe two or three points and then you put them there. Three marks for free. There's no technical question so far. Very easy. Based on your knowledge on the novel as a whole, discuss the implication of the... Ah, guys. I mean, contextuals are very easy. They are much more easier than even the, 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 the comprehension. Because I can't see a technical question so far. Guys, based on your knowledge, discuss the implication. Remember, discussing means facts. Once you see discuss, you must put a, take a pencil and write facts. Because once they say comment, you must say opinion. Right? Implication. What does it imply? What does this imply? Based on your knowledge as a whole, what does Richard's pack up behavior in this line imply? I'm even busting. Based on your knowledge of this novel, what does what, what does it what does it imply? But you cannot give us your opinion here. We need your facts. But okay, if Richard Parker is saying this, is doing this and this and this and this, he means that he wants to eat pie or he wants to run away or he wants to do this. Make sure that it's fact. It's something that you are sure about, right? Sure. Now we move on. Comment on the extent to which these lines foreshadow the effects of Faisal will have on his life. Okay, guys, commenting means give an opinion, then support it. It's very easy. You're going to give us an opinion there and then you support it. You give us an opinion and then you just support it. If you say this girl is beautiful, give me a reason why. Then that's it. I'm giving you marks. But if you're just gonna tell me that this girl is beautiful, one, two, three, and you can't support that thing, I'm not gonna give you a mark. So no one can ever get a question that says comment or critical comment wrong as long as they can support their answer right we'll move on do you agree that the island represents the contrast between reality justify is uh, okay right this question guys it's always the four marks yeah it's always there and even even paper one comprehension we always have a four mark question and you guys panic yeah? okay this is very very easy yeah reality and illusion yeah? contrast now Guys, if you understand English words, this thing, this thing is not going to give you a problem, right? So the first way that you want to see is, they say, do you agree that the island represents the contrast? So what is a contrast, guys? I said contrast, paradox, what else is the other one? Irony, it means the same thing. Yeah? Opposite ideas, right? So do you agree that the, uh, the island represents opposite ideas between reality and, or, and or illusion? Can you see that I translated it? I made this question simpler. That's why I recommend that you guys must just know the keywords. Contrast means opposite ideas. So, do you agree that the island represents opposite ideas between reality and illusion? Justify your response using the extract as a starting point, right? So, when I, first of all, you must tell us if you agree or not that this represents different ideas between reality and, uh, and, and illusion. These lines, right? After you agree, now you're going to justify yourself. So, you're going to support your, your, your point using what? Using this extract as a starting point. Right, so you're just going to support your idea that yes, 
it's, it's there's the opposite ideas between reality and illusion no there isn't because this and this and this and this happened in the book it's still not a technical question it's a referral question whereby now you're going to support your answer based on what, what happened in the book right that's why they're saying start with the extract as a starting point because now you see whatever happens in the extract you can use it to your advantage then you use also other extracts or other chapters in the book easy if you still have problems with this just text me on whatsapp so because people are gonna say i i, I have prejudice or I, I i'm stereotypical i don't know what people use they're gonna say i'm unfair because i'm always using life of pi and, and i'm late ne? i'm going to show you that what i just did here is the same thing i was gonna do if i was doing Dorian Gray. okay let's see Okay, this is the essay i don't recommend that you do an essay for this one i recommend that you do a context drop okay no right now yeah place this extract in context you are going to find this question on the 17th of november so now guys i told you what to do now you basically summarizing this extract simple give us the two or three main ideas of this thing then we are done right then now refer to line five the prayer of your pride has been answered explain the meaning of basis statement in this context explain guys explaining you know how to explain so tell us what basal means in this context give us two points of what it means in this and then support them you get three marks right let me move using these lines as a starting point discuss how they reflect the differences now discuss guys we saw discuss in english we always see it a lot of times né? when we say discuss now né? We want you to discuss, which means you must give us facts. So, using these lines of starting points, give us facts. Né? How they reflect the difference between Basil and how Lord and Lord Henry's attitude towards life. Right? So, you use these lines as a starting point. You code them and you explain. You give us facts of how they reflect the disagreements or differences between Basil and Lord, Lord Henry's attitude towards life. So, maybe Lord Henry's attitude towards life is very optimistic and the other one is i'm not sure and the other one is not optimistic and stuff so give us those facts right and then tell us how these you know yeah that's how you do it i don't know if i'm making sense you understand if lord henry is optimistic you will say you quote something this shows that lord henry is optimistic towards life he has a positive attitude towards life uh, the other one is sinister basically sinister is whatever 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 you write those down using quotations because you have to quote somewhere where he said something or where something happened maybe in the extract and then use it as proof to show us that he's sinister or he's somber towards life do you understand what i'm saying comment on dorian's assertion if that is too late for him to repent comment means give us an opinion so if they said comment on my assertion that is too late for me to so let's just say i went to jail and then they say comment on my statement that i said it's too late for me to repent what are you going to say you're going to give it a, a, an opinion do you understand this is still a referral question okay it's still a referral question because now you're basically commenting on the fact that it's too late for him to repent so basically what you're going to be saying here you're going to be commenting guys commenting means give your opinion about that statement that he said it's too late for me to repent give your own opinion Maybe you believe that he it's not too late for him to repent because this and this and this can still happen or this and this happened and this and this and this. You know the story. And then you just support. As long as you can support whatever you were saying, you're getting full marks. There. You can't get zero on comment. Right. We're going to... Um, in your view, is Doreen's hatred for Peso justified? Motivate your response. Ah... In your view it means in your opinion it's the same thing as saying comment right so that's why they even gave you a clue motivate your response because they see that you guys are failing to comment now they're even giving you a clue this question and that question are the same 7.4 and 7.5 mean the same thing but in different ways yeah so in your own view is it justified you'll tell me it's up to you guys to decide it's your opinion so if they say my hatred towards you is it justified you'll say yes because he stepped me in, my, in the back he stole my girlfriend you know he cheated on me and stuff so it's justified you support you you motivated your response so you, you're getting full marks there you understand you cannot get these questions you can't get zero eh? you can't get it wrong you understand what i'm saying all right i'm not gonna go further because it's the same thing comment using your knowledge to discuss the extent at which it's the same thing it's the same thing 
So overall, guys, what I've noticed as well is that there's very less, very, 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 very low chances of you getting a technical question there because you were never taught about the structure of writing a novel. Right. So you might get a technical question on contextuals, maybe when you're at varsity level. So everything is a referral question. It's a referral question that where now you have to now read the book thoroughly and then now know the action words that we use, like critical discuss, critical comment, critical do whatever, and then also know what? Know that it's a referral question, which means you must refer to a certain part. Once you understand the action words and what they're actually asking you to do, it's very, very easy as long as you read the context, you read the novel actually. And I, I'm going to repeat this. Né? I recommend that you do contextuals for a novel. As you can see, it was very easy for me to answer some of them. And then you do an essay for drama. Because drama is very, very hard to answer. The contextuals are very, very hard. Né? Essay for, for drama and contextuals for the novel. So it makes sense. Am I making? Is that making sense? Cool. So guys, that's it. That's how you generally answer contextual questions. It's a comprehension, guys. But it's filled with... Referral questions that have three marks, which means you have to go deeper. Why? Because the book is huge. There's a lot of pages in that book. There's a lot that you can say, unlike the comprehension, right? So uh, those who don't have the worksheet can just join the group and ask the learners in the group to send you that worksheet uh, because that worksheet is, 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 is really... It's very short. I downloaded that worksheet for you guys. It tells you what comment means. It tells you what critical discuss means. It tells you what uh, explain means, what analyze means. So that when you see explain, that's the only thing that's killing you guys. When you see explain, you panic. When you see discuss, you panic. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yes. So, guys, don't please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ask questions on the comment section. If you want to appreciate me on the comment section, it's cool. I really love those comments and I'll respond. Send me a WhatsApp text, guys. I'll respond. You know I always respond. I love you so much, guys. I'm wishing you luck on your exams, guys. And, guys, please don't forget to subscribe or tell your friends to subscribe. You might not be needing this channel, but maybe your sister next year is going to need it all. Get them to subscribe, guys. And then another thing, guys, on Zoom, I have a Zoom class for English Paper 2 uh, on the 16th of November, where I'll be teaching this whole thing to those that still don't understand. And just the entrance fee is just 50 rands. And yeah, the times are there on the poster and everything like that. So if you want to inquire about that, just text me personally uh, on the group. Uh, my number is 0814485811. 0814485811. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for recommending my videos. I love you a lot. Thank you very much. For me, your boy K Pro. I'm